Is he a man or a machine? Erling Holland is an unstoppable force who seems to defy nature with his physique, pace, power, and lethal finishing. This guy cannot stop scoring, but he's also got a few dark secrets that he doesn't want you to know. And make sure to stay until the end where I'll reveal his biggest secret yet. Let's start with something Holland definitely won't want anyone to know. It might be his one weakness. Holland may run with the power of a steam train and strike the ball with the force of a nuclear missile. But despite his almost inhuman physique, this guy has had some issues. When he was at Borussia Dortmund, Holland was troubled by injuries. In fact, it was a big concern for him and the physio team at the club. And what's more, it was also something that concerned Manchester City when they were looking to buy the powerful Norwegian striker. Pep Guardiola has treated Holland carefully since he arrived at City, making sure this guy is always in peak physical condition and isn't straining himself too much. After all, why else would you sub a guy who scores 5 goals in a Champions League game and is one away from breaking the record for goals in a single game? Holland's abductor muscle, which was an issue at Dortmund, has been kept under close supervision by City's sports therapist Mario Pafundi, tasked with keeping Holland fit. When Erling breaks all kinds of records for City, a lot of credit will go to Pafundi for controlling Holland's weak spot. As for Man City, Holland's old man was a former player for the club, and that takes us to the next dark secret. Erling's father, Alf Ing Holland, was a tough and hardworking player with a robust tackle. His time at City was affected by injury, limiting him to 38 appearances in three years, but he left with great affection for the club. When Erling was becoming the most sought after, Man City fans got a sense it would be their club who would get his signature. After all, a move to the Premier League, his pop's old stomping ground, seemed inevitable. In fact, Erling said he had been a City fan all his life, and pictures emerged of baby Holland in a Man City shirt. He was actually born shortly before Alfie's transfer from Leeds to Manchester City, but all all might not be what it seems. Erling Holland has also been pictured wearing an Arsenal shirt in his younger days, so is Erling a secret gunner? City fans have the romantic idea that Erling's transfer was simply a case of their boy coming home. But maybe that isn't the case. It gets worse, with another dark secret Erling holds. Okay, maybe Holland switched teams a few times as a kid. It's natural at that age, but right now, he's playing for City and he loves the club. You definitely can't argue that Erling hasn't given plenty for the fans to cheer about either with so many goals to his name. There's a dark secret though, sure, City pays his wages, but Holland has a secret love when it comes to football clubs, and this was revealed by his ex Dortmund teammate, Leonardo Bellardi, a former player for Argentinian giants River Plate, and he would be regularly teased by Erling Holland. Why you ask? Because Erling Holland loves Boca Juniors, the arch rivals of River Plate. The rivalry between those two Argentinian clubs rivals any other in the world of football. But this is nothing compared to this next dirty secret hiding in Erling's closet. Erling Holland has a fascination with balls. He can't keep his hands off them and spends his nights with a handful of balls. Hey, get those dirty thoughts out of your head, bro. We're talking about footballs. Yeah, Erling is obsessed with the sport and trains with a crazy intensity. It's been said that Holland has a strange habit, which is that he always sleeps with a at least one soccer ball in his bed, and he even joked about sleeping with all his hat trick balls. That is a lot of balls! That could be dangerous though. If he dreams of playing in the Champions League final, he might accidentally kick a ball through his bedroom window. That's a pretty strange habit that tells you everything about Erling's obsessive nature. But he has another secret when it comes to sleep. It's no secret that being well rested and getting your 40 winks is essential in maintaining high levels as a professional athlete. Holland has a crazy training schedule like most footballing icons, but his obsession with sleep is definitely a secret he wants to keep. Maybe he shouldn't tell Man United fans this, as they might stand outside Erling's house and sing through the night. Holland switches off all his electronic devices a few hours before going to bed. This is to ensure he can wind down at night and isn't too engrossed in social media. In fact, friends, family, and teammates often can't get hold of Erling at night. He also wears orange tinted, blue light glasses which help block out energy emitted from lights and screens. We're sure those glasses look cool, Erling. Don't worry about it. Erling probably sleeps well most nights, but sometimes he might just lay awake thinking about this next thing. Oh, dude, also, I almost forgot to tell you. There's also a bonus secret that I'll tell you about at the end of the vid. 
Anyways, in 2018, a young Erling Haaland was already looking like a goal machine as he impressed for the Norwegian team, Molde. Roy Hodgson was the manager of Crystal Palace, and among the transfer targets he cast his eye on was a 17-year-old Erling Haaland. The price was £5 million for a kid who already had a knack of scoring for his first team. Crystal Palace fans will now have to wonder what if, as Hodgson rejected the chance to move for Holland as he believed the youngster wasn't physical enough for the Premier League. Holland continued his exploits for Mulda, before moving on to Dortmund and eventually finding a route to the Premier League with Man City. As for Hodgson, well, that faithful transfer window, he went with another option entirely, Jordan Ayew, who scored one goal in his 20 games on loan. But let's be fair to Jordan, he ended up making the move permanent. Still, Holland definitely won't want the world to know he was rejected by Hodgson and Crystal Palace. He got his revenge though, scoring four goals in his two Premier League matches against Palace. A machine like Holland needs to be well maintained, and it's obvious he takes it very seriously. But Holland definitely doesn't want you to know this. City fans, you'd better close your ears for this secret because Holland's immense physical power and fitness have been helped by a former Manchester United icon. Holland might have a big genetic leg up thanks to his former footballing father, his tough Scandinavian DNA, and the fact his mother was also an elite sports star, but genetics only get you so far. Holland trains like a beast, and for that to be effective, needs a special diet. Holland has a big influence from Cristiano Ronaldo. When Holland had lunch with former United star Patrice Evra, the Frenchman let Holland into a few secrets about Ronaldo's diet, and Holland, a big fan of Cristiano, decided to copy the idol. He's also got another kind of gross secret too. One of the ways Holland fills his 6,000 a day calorie intake is with a high protein, low fat diet, as well as a lot of fish and chicken like Ronaldo. Holland also eats a whole lot of awful. Ew! Kidneys, livers, hearts, you name it. As his Norway teammate Josh King says, I've never seen anyone eat as much as he does, he just eats like a bear. Holland's next secret is one that he won't want the ladies knowing. Holland is clearly obsessed with football, which has helped with his dedication to training and perfecting the art of scoring goals, but it's also made him have a tough time scoring off the pitch. Holland used to be known as a man of few words and a little awkward in his press interviews, and that awkwardness has extended to his love life too. The problem is, Holland's major interest is football. He eats, sleeps, breathes, and um, you know, poops, football. Now, a huge football star still probably wants to be known as a ladies man, but it seems like Holland might actually find dating and girlfriends difficult. All I think about is goals and a net all day long. This is why I failed my first date with an Austrian girl. During the dinner or lunch dates, I would talk goals to her. Things like, how many goals do you think I will score tomorrow? She would be annoyed because she wanted me to forget about football and talk love when I am with her. But unfortunately, the love I have is football. So I told her to go find a good man who plays love, not football. So what was Holland's solution to being a disaster in romance? He dated a footballer. Holland reportedly started dating Isabel Hogson Johansson, an 18-year-old footballer. In fact, she also used to play for the same club Holland started his career at, Brian FK. Now his talk of goals will be more appreciated. We know Holland has a very particular diet to keep himself in top physical condition. We know he also trains like crazy to make sure he's as quick, strong, and as athletic as possible. Maybe Holland, like his idol Ronaldo, is perfect. Actually, Holland has a dark secret he doesn't want anyone to know. He loves junk food. Yes, that's right. Much like Lionel Messi, Holland will occasionally succumb to temptations of the takeaway. Holland's favorites include Italian food, Chinese food, and he also loves to eat kebabs. One thing is for sure, with the takeaway scene in Manchester, Holland has plenty of choices for when he wants a cheat day, and to top it off, he will have his favorite drink, a pina colada. Don't worry Erling, those cheat days aren't slowing you down. In fact, one of his pre-match rituals is a rich, calorific meal that isn't that healthy. It's his father's homemade lasagna, and according to Erling, it powers him through games. I've had it before every home game now, and that turns out fairly well, so there has to be something added to it. Don't let the other strikers in the league know. Next up, listen up ABBA fans, we mean no harm. Come on, who doesn't love a little bit of ABBA? When you're a footballer, you have an image to uphold, and these young guys all follow the trends, wear designer labels, and listen to the current music in the charts. 
So when Erling arrived at City and admitted a guilty pleasure was listening to ABBA, his teammates found it hilarious and teased him about it. It gets worse for Holland though, because there's a particular song he plays repeatedly at home and in his car. It's the Champions League theme song, written by Tony Britton in 1992. One thing is for sure, Man City fans will be hoping Holland is singing the song and lifting the trophy in May. Don't leave, cause we're not done yet! It's our bonus secret, and one we are pretty sure must be true. Maybe Erling Holland is a cyborg. Defenders should call him the Terminator or Robo Striker. Is there really any other explanation for someone to be that physically dominant? Holland just isn't human. He might have been constructed in a lab by his dad, Alfing dressed like a mad scientist. It's alive! It's alive! Programmed to score goals and give defenders nightmares.